so I get I and it was a bit of a risk. I did this whole intro about failure, and then I talked about failing a magic trick, and then I played the clip of my daughter laughing at me, watching me on the phone failing at a magic trick. Have I shown you this thing? You want to watch it? Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I sh- uh, yeah I sh- this is what I played. It's on about. The- it's basically saying that when we fail at things in our heads, we think that that means we'll fail at the next thing, and it's actually if you look at it. Differently, if you fail at something, that could lead lead on to something really good because you could have a, you know. So uh, let me see if I can play. I'll play this. I could. I've also got the clip of me failing on the trick that she, <laughs> she watched. I don't know if I can. I can show you it because it's so embarrassing. Uh, so this is basically. I, I'll tell you the story of this trick, right? And it's a story that I told the show. Uh, there's one thing worse than getting a magic trick wrong on stage is that not getting it wrong. And it being so awful that nobody cares, and it's the most humiliating thing you've ever done. So, what happened in the trick? And I will show you one day. It's quite funny. I have I told you this story. I might have told some of you. The trick was with a maze box, right? So, a maze box is is a switch. It's, it's basically a, a change bag, but black box. Everybody comes out, and I'm hosting this award ceremony for the the basically every event organizer in my city. It's a it's it's the it's the hot ticket of the year all right the, the exposed awards exposed is a magazine that's an events magazine but it's all really young trend you know you, you i mean yeah you um joe will know it very well right so everybody's there and i'm like i host a thing every year and it's a nightmare gig because everybody's actually hammered and people are just talking over you and, but you just i don't usually do magic and phil had said the organizer he said well we're doing a disco theme can you do a disco theme magic trick and i was like phil i can't because every time i do it it doesn't work nobody really cares and he's like no you got it it'd be great it's a new venue so, I, so I was like two days before I come up, I'm trying to wrap my brains. I come up with this idea. The trick is this. Someone, everybody puts their favourite 80s or disco performer on a, on a billet. They put it in the box at the interval, right? Or before the show starts, that's it. So you've got like hundreds of pieces of paper. Someone, I introduce myself. Someone comes on stage. This is how it's meant to happen. They do like a lucky dip in the box. They pull a billet out, right? I, at the same time, get behind a bit of, cloth that's being held up by two audience members and do a quick change not a proper quick change but like a fast change so as he opens it i say right read it out he says michael jackson and this is before the the famous video so it's not quite as bad as but you know still not great but um (laughs) he says michael jackson as he said it the thing drops and i'm dressed as michael jackson beat it comes on the, the in the pa and i moonwalk (laughs) <laughs> on the stage <laughs> right and now I know you're thinking you're thinking why were you thinking even thinking that would work but I, I needed something and I talked to no quarter about it and he said it would work and uh, so I was like so I, I, I've rack, I tried to look for this Michael Jackson thing and I just I looked ridiculous I had one glove on Right, this thing that didn't look like Michael Jackson's hair, and I'd even cut it with scissors. It was like a cheap costume with this sequin jacket on. It, I was meant to be behind this thing for 20 seconds max. I was there for four and a half minutes. It took. I couldn't get the thing on. I was sweating. I couldn't get the T-shirt off. So this poor bloke's standing there, waiting, getting seriously getting bored. The audience is talking amongst themselves. I'm behind the thing going, wait, all right, another 20 seconds. Finally, it drops. And I'm just look like this ridiculous. I'll show you. I'm not going to show you. The video. Show us like, the video. Show me. Show me. Show me. I'm not going to show you the video. The, I'm not going to show you the video. Oh the whole thing. I, it goes on for so long. It's so embarrassing. I'm going to show. I'll show you a little bit. Oh, it's just awful. Hang on. It's really bad. I did an edited version. I was going to show it on a night, and I couldn't bring myself to do it. I will do one day. Um, the magic of now. Let me don't tell anybody. This is being recorded, isn't it? God, it's not downloadable. Well, it could be. Um, sorry, uh, is this the edit one? This could be quite uncomfortable viewing, you know. It's got one of those things that's kind of should be funny, but it's just a bit bleak. I'm thoroughly excited. <laughs> I think we all just want to see you dressed as Michael Jackson now. Steve. I know, don't. I don't. <laughs> We're not even bothered about the trick. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, the trick's non-existent. The trick is utterly terrible. I mean, don't, don't, don't ever, don't try and humour me with this one. There's nothing to be redeemed from this at all. Um, Just be thankful you got more help with this show. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> End up doing yeah. it now. <laughs> well, if I'd, have, if I'd, have, <laughs> I think this would have been quite funny had I not been four and a half minutes under the thing. Um, right. Yeah, I'll try and find it. All right. Optimize for video clip, share sound. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, can you see that? <laughs> can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me if you can hear it. Oh, see, that's me even now, I can't. See, that's me going back. And, you know, I get nervous and I keep going, ladies and gentlemen. So I go back behind her, this is meant to be 20 seconds. Speed, close your eyes. There you go. Right, so, so I've edited that, that's like a minute's gone. Okay, it's about 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. Oh, I've edited that. That's about another three minutes. But look at, look at. About 10 more seconds. <laughs> 10 more seconds. <laughs> I, yeah, I've said that about 55 times. I just kept saying it because I didn't have anything on me. I was, I was just in a mess behind, in my pants behind there. Look how bored he looks. He's been there forever. He's just like, come on. He just wants to go back and have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> He's speaking, I should have just gone to bingo. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, after three, after three, you drop, after three, you say it, same time. If this goes wrong, I'm going to look like such a dog. If it goes right, I'm going to look like such a dog. But that's the point of Martin. Nice big letters. What is the artist on your piece of paper? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I look like the cool. little kid from different strokes. You know, like we're like <laughs> Oh my god. Is, why don't you include that on your show reel, Steve? Why don't you left? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating more now. And it's not, I'm, look. This, so, this Zoom chat just got very interested. <laughs> well, I'm going to show it in the show. I think it's funny, but I, was, I, was, I just couldn't bring myself to it. But I'll tell you what, the, the, there's... <laughs> imagine if he, imagine if, it would have been better if he'd have got it wrong and I'd have got the trick wrong and it hadn't have been Michael Jackson. That would have actually been quite funny. <laughs> oh my god but just i'm shaking now the, the fear and like i said in the show it's so funny because phil the organizer knows me because i've hosted this thing for five years which is worse and he usually comes up at half time and goes yeah well done well done and he came up he came up to me after <laughs> and he said yeah he said uh yeah steve how do you think that went <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you could just imagine him trying to think how am I going to deal with this walking to the dressing room mm. and he was at the show the other night which was great so so I told that story and then he sent me a text at half time just saying how do you feel it went <laughs> so but this is what makes it worth worthwhile right I, this is I love this um you rather have a nice moonwalk you, well, it, it, has it improved you, it, over the years? It's better than that usually. It's better than that when I realised I'm not utterly humiliating myself. It's okay. So we'll forgive you. Don't worry. Yeah. So th this is. Um, let me get rid of that. Can you see Gracie there? Yeah. So listen to what she says at the end. It's so great. And this is one of the first times that me and Gracie, because she got a bit older, and we we were kind of hanging out as friends. And she's just having the chips, having a lovely time too. So she's watching what you just watched. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> why did you why did you move the whole Because that's what Michael Jackson does. <laughs> no, I <I'm> not <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. There you go. That's good, isn't it?